What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be teaching you the RSI relative strength index and this is a momentum oscillator so it can basically help you out and it can help you know what the chart is probably going to end up doing. It's just another tool in your tool belt. I'd uh, just like to remind you to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get the notification on the videos and like this video. Let's get into the RSI and learn what we could use it for. All right, so this is the RSI right here. And you can see we have 70, which we have a line here. So we have 70 right here. And when it gets up over that, that's the overbought area. And, and normally when it gets up over that, the stock will go down. And as you can see here on the chart, it did go down. And then you have the 30 mark right here, which is this line right here. And that's the oversold one. So when a, when a stock normally gets down between that and normally tends to trend upward, so you can also see patterns in the indicator. As you can see right here, the stock is going up. It's very bullish. And you can see right here at this peak, it just passed over the 70 mark. So it, it means that it's oversold, but it's still going up. The stock is still going up. And then on these peaks right here, they actually are lower than the higher peak. So that's telling me the stock doesn't have as much power. So right here where these peaks are, you can see the stock is still going up. So it's giving you a heads up saying, hey, there's not enough power in this stock to keep going up. It's probably going to end up dropping off and having a big pullback, which it did. It had a big pullback and then it had a bigger pullback. And that's why the RSI can give you a heads up and say, hey, get out of this stock before it starts tanking. And sure enough, it did. You can also adjust the RSI, as you can see right here, as they did. They put it at the 50 because that's what they think the overbought price is. So you can adjust it to what the stock is doing. So this one right here shows a stock starting to go on an uptrend and the RSI gave you a pretty good heads up before it actually happened. So you can get in at the bottom that the uptrend was going to occur. So the RSI started in 1978 and uh, the inventor was Jay Wellis Weidler Jr. That's this guy right here. All right, let's go over it again real quick here. So when the RSI it's above the 70 mark line it means it's overbought and the stock is normally going to trend downward and when the rsi gets below the 30 mark level right here it's going to start trending up because the stock is oversold and when the rsi is pretty much going down in a straight line it means that there's no trend going on and then you have the rsi showing the price drop of the stock even though the stock is going up the stock is eventually going to start a downtrend and here's an example of the bearish chart so we got a here as the stock rise above the 70 mark and then on a second high it doesn't get above it so that's telling me that the stock is going to start a downtrend so that's basically the rsi just another tool in your tool bag for stocks and i uh, just like to remind you to subscribe to my channel hit the bell so you get notifications on swing trades and like this video and let's make some money